even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day... These are my 2017 MLK Reflections. With the divisiveness going on in the country, you know, in the state of America today, it's easy to focus on the negativity, to get caught up in all the hoopla and what's going on and how great America will become. But I present something different to you. I challenge you to reconsider the dream that Martin Luther King had about all men being created equal, about us fighting for justice and equality for everybody, you know, folks being able to stand together no matter race, creed, or color. I honestly think now more than ever, Martin Luther uh, King's I Have a Dream speech or, you know, even his last speech, which was, was, was you know, on the mountaintop, are so relevant to today's society and the things that we need in order to, to function just as a humanity in America and, you know, the world beyond. I think a lot of times it's gloss over how far we've come and how far we still need to go with all the police shootings, racial profilings, hate speech, playing up to certain fears, you know, divisive rhetoric that just, you know, doesn't end, doesn't quit, especially with a 24-hour news cycle, you know, where does that get us? Where does it take us as a people, as a country, as a society, as a generation, as a world? It's crazy that Martin Luther King had the dream because, you know, a lot of some of the things that we deal with now were dealt with back then, but even worse, you know, lynchings and killings and segregation and things of that nature, you know, the history details and a lot of this stuff was actually documented, you know, um, on camera, you know, way before Facebook Live or Snapchat or, you know, Twitter or anything like that. Say, remember the dream. Remember the fight for equality for all people, you know, the white lives, the black lives, the blue lives, the green lives, the red lives. Yes, black folks and, and our lives do matter, but we're not the only lives that matter, and we know that. And the same thing for the blue lives, you know, um, folks matter, but you're not the only ones that matter. You know, there's so many other people out there struggling and going through things and, you know, suffering from oppression, you know, be it Mexican, Native American, gay, lesbian community, you know, um, so many of us, you know, share common struggle as far as the fight to be recognized as human beings. And I think we're lost as a humanity when we stop identifying with each other as human beings, regardless of your politics, regardless of your race, regardless of your, your um, agenda in, in any aspect of life. You know, I think it's lost on humanity when we fail to look at each other as human beings or twisted sort of sense, you know, we dehumanize each other. You know, it's, it's the old saying, you know, people feel what they don't understand. And I say we should try to understand each other, fight to understand each other as far as, you know, who we are and how we can get together. We only have one planet, even though maybe some folks think they're going to go to Mars and maybe you can go up there with, um, you know, uh, Matt Damon or something. But, you know, right now we're here on this earth and we're trying to work it out. So um, I say remember the dream. Remember what folks have fought for and died for. Remember what still has to be done. Folks out there who want to be violent and, you know, try to protest in a manner that's ill-fitted to what, you know, represents us well as a people, as a country, as a society. But all that's going to do is, you know, bring more violence. Barbarism begets barbarism. Violence begets violence and brings war and riots and all those things that we have to look back in history and say, wow, we went too far. How many times is, as far as a humanity, we have to go too far? You know, how many times do we have to come back and try to relearn from the lessons of the past or not let it repeat itself? I mean, and it will, things will happen. Folks will choose to be ignorant. Divisiveness will come. But before things get too out of hand, I say to folks, remember the sacrifices that folks have made just for us to be at this moment. 
for us to have the opportunities that we have at this particular point in history. Maybe I'm just, you know, speaking, you know, out there. Maybe this is just a shot in the dark, candle in the sun. Who knows if anybody's really going to listen to this and hear this. But these are my reflections. I'm one person just trying to use this platform or use my voice to say something positive, to say something uplifting, especially on this MLK Day 2017. And I say to you, remember the dream. You know, remember the possibilities. You know, um, don't let it just be a political slogan. You know, um, you know, yes, yes, we can do a lot of these different things that um, Martin Luther King talked about. You know, yes, it is a need to still dream. Yes, it is the need to still fight for rights, you know, and justice, you know, and, and really, you know, see each other for, you know, human beings before anything else. You know, regardless of your orientation, regardless of your sexuality, regardless of who you are, let us recognize and see each other for who we are first. You know, like Martin Luther King said, you know, not being judged by the color of your skin, but the content of your character. And those are just my reflections. Um, hopefully this was helpful to you. And um, God spare life. Be safe, peaceful as much as you can. Try to get along with each other as much as we can, as much as in your heart. Others can do what they want to do. That's their business. Other civil rights leaders, for various reasons, refuse or can't take a stand or have to go along with the administration. That's their business. But I must say tonight that I know that justice is indivisible. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere.